All right, let's talk about um, amendment of the pleadings and retrial. This, I think, is a very interesting issue. In 1170.126, the new resentencing statute, subdivision I, there's a little hidden uh, phrase in there that, that kind of presents some interesting issues. That phrase says that a petitioner may waive uh, his or her appearance for what for resentencing unless the accusatory pleading is amended or a new trial or retrial occurs. This raises the possibility of whether or not a petitioner can face amended charges or a retrial based on a plea agreement um, when, of course, it's standard law and well known and set in stone that when uh, the people make a plea agreement, and as will often happen when a person is sentenced to a life sentence, a number of other counts may be dismissed. The prosecutor thinking this person is going to prison on a life sentence. So let me dismiss many of the other charges that were less serious because I really have what I want, which is a life sentence for that person. Well, when the person comes back and seeks resentencing, a risk arises uh, upon that resentencing. Will the people want to reinstate those charges that were previously dismissed because under the sentence that will be imposed as a second strike offense will be materially less than it would be of any life sentence. So um, it's interesting first that as, as I started out with that this isn't something that's separately noted in the statute with perhaps a procedure or more discussion of what should happen if there is an accusatory pleading amended or there's a new trial or retrial and that it's just stuck in the part where it indicates that a defendant can waive his right to a personal appearance. But it is there and it raises the question and it's fundamental law that when a plea agreement is uh, taken apart everyone returns back to the status quo, status quo ante, and the people may very well wish and seek to refile those charges. It occurs to me that in order to do that, it's going to depend on a couple of factors. First of all, since this may go back as far as 28 years, heck, can the people prove those charges? Do they have the witnesses that were around before? Secondarily, you'll also have to look to the defendant's point of view. Um, is this going to be prejudicial to the defendant to retry charges that may be quite remote in time? And I think a Barker-Wingo analysis may be appropriate to see whether or not is the defendant at a loss as to be able to present a defense as well. Um, Do you think any of these concerns relate to convictions that were obtained by a trial rather than by a plea agreement? I think absolutely not, because a retrial is, excuse me, an, an original trial is going to result in a conviction of a defendant or, on the other hand, a, an acquittal of the defendant on multiple charges. So the same thing isn't going to arise. A judge will have resentenced as to, um, will resentence as to the um, now eligible for second strike sentencing question may arise whether or not, and I think the judge does have discretion to do an entire resentencing and may choose on some uh, instances where there has been a concurrent treatment to choose consecutive treatment. Um, and that's the way I think that may cause a little wrinkle, but certainly not to amend the pleadings. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. Uh, so it sort of seems to me this comes down to an interesting decision by the district attorney. Uh, he can either choose to do the, re assuming the court's going to grant the resentencing, uh, can either choose to allow the resentencing to proceed ahead uh, on what the defendant originally pled to, or roll the bones and put everything into play by reinstating charges, unwinding the plea deal, uh, and going back to before any plea was entered, and then take a chance as to not only conviction of the new crimes, but also what a judge might do in terms of, dis of sentencing discretion, because the court clearly would now have broad sentencing discretion, and that new sentence would be imposed, of course, in accordance with the new law. It would certainly seem that prosecutors wouldn't want to go this route unless it was a particularly a heinous defendant or something like that that would make them want to go back to when dirt could have been warm 30, 28 years ago and do that.